Ladies and uh, gentlemen, as, uh, pres as president of the non-profit organization Ökocenter Pafendal, it's a great pleasure for me to warmly welcome you all to our center and to thank the Luxembourgish presidency of the Council of European Union and in particular the Ministry of Sustainable Development for taking the initiative of the present visit. As a matter of fact, by visiting our center, you dared to descend, even by foot, I heard, from the Kirchberg Plateau, that means from the highest European decision level, in order to bravely enter the very heart of NGOs, NGOs nestled down here in one of the most picturesque suburbs of the city of Luxembourg. Thank you for your courage and welcome. <laughs> well, our center brings together a whole range of NGOs. First of all, uh, the Mouvement Ecologique, the ecological uh, movement, which represents the national unit of Friends of the Earth with activities on all areas of sustainable development. Also, its president, uh, Mrs. Blanche Weber, will address some more political words to you later on. I worry they will be not so pleasant uh, than mine, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, beside the Mouvement Ecologique, the Eco Center structure itself, which uh, with its uh, conference and seminar facilities, a library and a charming bistro, and a series of consulting, uh, consultancy services covering various fields and initiating a lot of projects. Projects in the agriculture uh, field, for instance, with uh, Young Farmers Association aiming more sustainable agriculture by promoting leguminous uh, plants, reducing the use of pesticides. Also in the environmental area, eco-labeling, certification scheme for hotels and camping sites, uh, Congress tourism, green meetings, respecting criteria of uh, sustainable development and the Eco Top 10 platform being the Luxembourgish part of the European project Top 10 ACT. Then projects in the area of sustainable house building. We have initiated a system of certification of sustainable construction and related financial incentives. And finally, energy and climate area. We provide advice services to a series of municipalities participating in the climate pact uh, with the Luxembourgish government. The Luxembourgish branch of Climate Alliance is another NGO present in this center. An alliance of 35 municipalities, among them the most important ones of our country, and two NGOs promoting the exchange of good practices concerning uh, the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Furthermore, we have here the Luxembourgish branch of the European Cyclist uh, Federation with projects aiming to establish the bicycle as a means of sustainable transport. Then the Luxembourgish branch of the Forest Stewardship Council promoting a chain of custody for the wood sector according to criteria of sustainability. And last but not least, the Vegan Society Luxembourg. This is a really exciting mix of future-oriented movements. But our movements that are grouped here in this center obviously do not all want to act as a substitute to the action of public authorities. But thanks to their volunteers and collaborators as a kind of yeast, as a lever aiming a more sustainable society. The very basis of our action is the concept of a strong sustainability with unlike weak sustainability puts a focus on democratic, ecological, social and cultural scales over economic gains. Our conviction take in consideration first of all the limits of our planet, the equality of chances between North and South and between present and future generation. This of course while trying to create synergies between the economic social and environmental challenges. 
we try to implement down here a bottom-up initiative, realistic and utopic ones, hoping that politicians up there on the Kirchberg plateau, <laughs> that means you in particular, will take up the torch. Even the best projects have in fact limited impact if they do not lead to structural changes in policy. Traditionally, in a small country, most of our projects are realized in a more or less harmonious collaboration with the, <laughs> <laughs> with the political authorities. The Luxembourg State in particular, the Ministry of Sustainable Development and the City of Luxembourg made possible the construction of this building according to passive house standard and sustainable materials. Other projects I mentioned benefit also from a partnership, a convention of finan financial aid allocated by Luxembourg State and sometimes for the European Union. But, dear ministers and delegates, ladies and gentlemen, do not mistake. As authentic non-governmental organizations, we keep the spirit of independence, complete political independence. Our <laughs> multiple actions, positions, meetings and so on are the proof of this independence. And I hope we all will preserve our creativity as well as the hat we invest in our commitment. For politicians, it may be sometimes contradictory to put at the disposal of NGOs the material and the financial means that at the end might eventually used, be used against them. But we believe that this assumed contradiction is the very foundation of democracy. Allowing everyone to express its views to develop alternatives to introduce new ways of development of our, our society. And to my mind, it is the often neglected aspect of the sustainable development paradigm. The strengthening of the participation of citizens and civil society at the local, the national, as well as the supranational level. Which leads me to my conclusion. We are today faced with the negative trends of deregulation at all levels, also in the European Union, with incre increasing pressure of economical and financial lobbies and with the hazards of an unbridled globalization. We, or should I say you, dear ministers and delegates, should ensure not only at the national but also at the European level the further strengthening of the means of the civil society. Europe has to provide civil society with an enhanced framework and with more important means so, they can, uh, so that they can assert their opinion on an equal basis compared to economical stakeholders. In fact, this would be a real chance for a European Union of and for citizens by enabling national, national NGOs to better relay the discussion on European policy on a le national level, and in particular those in the field of environmental and sustainable issues. Angela Merkel once said, <laughs> scheitert der Euro, scheitert Europa. If the Euro fails, Europe fails. With all due respect for the economic and the integration importance of the Euro, I take the liberty of completing this rather partial statement with another one. Europa wird scheitern, wenn es sich nicht zu einer demokratischeren, ökologischeren und sozialeren Einheit weiterentwickelt. To express it in a positive way. The success of the European idea depends on its evolution to a union of democratic, sustainable, social and cultural values. Dear ministers and delegates, ladies and gentlemen, we wish you a very pleasant stay in our country. Thank you.